hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel in this video i'm going to talk about ios 16.1 beta 3 update on iphone 10 r and iphone 12. so i've been using this update for like three to four days now and in this video i'm going to talk about battery life and performance and also in this video i will include the battery life of iphone 12 and the performance of both of these iPhones so you can get a better idea if you are having an older iPhones like iPhone XR or a newer devices like iPhone 12 or 13 and many of you have asked me many questions so I'm going to answer all of your questions in this video so do watch this video till the end but before starting this video if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because this gives me a lot of motivation to make more such kind of videos on my channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first this you know update came in about 400 to 600 mb on both the iphones on iphone 10r it came in about 482.6 mb and on iphone 12 it came in about 500 odd mb so you know if you're having a newer or older iphone so it should be between 400 to 600 megabytes so now the first things first let me go to the settings and let me go to the general and about section if i tap on the ios version as you can see this is the new build number if i tap on it it says 20b 5056e so that's the new build number with ios 16 16.1 beta 3 now when i made a video how to update to ios 16.1 beta 3 or what are the new features that's included with this update many of you have commented like i'm using an iphone 10r and as you can see the battery percentage is still visible so for the people who have commented on the videos and how i'm getting the battery percentage on a phone like iphone 10r since it's an older iphone so i would like to inform you that you know ios 16.1 onwards battery percentage feature is available on all the iphones so if i show you if i go to the general and vpn and device management as you can see i have a beta profile installed which says ios 16 beta software profile so don't get confused this is not a stable series of updates which i am using on my iphones so this is the ios 16 beta software profile now how you can download this ios 16 beta software profiles you have to go to beta.apple dot com and if you are opening that on your safari browser you have an option to download a beta profile once that profile is downloaded you need to come to the settings and on top you would be having a notification that new profile has been downloaded you need to tap on it and install that and once it is installed you would be prompted to restart your iphone once you restart your iphone then you need to go to the general and software update and check for the software update once you check for the software updates you should be able to get the latest software like right now i am running ios 16.1 beta 3 so at that point of time whatever software is available for beta testers you would be able to get that so that's the simple thing so please get that in mind if you are running ios 16 or ios 16.0.2 this battery percentage feature is not available as of now to the older iphones but this is coming soon in the middle of october maybe we can expect ios 16.1 update now that out of the way now let's talk about the battery and the performance to you know compare the battery and the performance also i have my iphone 12 so first let's talk about the battery life how is the battery life on ios 16.1 beta 3 because i've been using ios 16. beta 3 full on on my iphone 12 and if i show you as well general about section so this is the you know uh, the build number of ios 16.1 beta 3 so without further wasting any time let me go to the battery and first let me take you to the battery health and charging section you know the maximum capacity of the battery health is 88 percent and i have used this device for more than one year it's going to be one year six months so battery is down to 88 percent so that's the thing and if we talk about the battery life for last 24 hours as you can see the screen on time is six hour two minutes and the screen off time is 45 minutes if i uh, take a look at last 10 days as you can see the average screen on time is six hours and the average screen off time is one hour and these are the list of application that i've been using instagram whatsapp a lot of social media applications 
applications and phone, YouTube, um, some of the corporate applications, um, the social media applications and these all are the applications that consume uh, the battery life of my iPhone. So if I take a deeper look here, so as you can see yesterday, as you can see I have used my phone till 100% and for that I have gotten a screen on time of 5 hours 59 minutes. Day before yesterday, I have used my phone till 100% and for that it is 5 hours. Day before yesterday, it was like more than 100% and for that screen on was 6 hours 54 minutes. So it is all about, I mean, it is between 5 to 6 hours and I can uh, tell you that the battery life has been improved a little bit from iOS 16.1 beta 2. So this is iOS 16.1 beta 3 and if I talk about the battery life, I'm happy and I'm also at the same time very glad to say that the battery life has been improved over iOS 16.1 beta 2. So battery life is not spectacular, something that you know it would, the iPhone 12 would last you for one and a half days or one full day. Sometime it do last, you know, depends on your battery usage, it do last for a complete day but sometimes at the end of the day you might need to charge your iPhone once again. But I can tell you that the standby time and also the battery life day to day so has been improved a little bit over past few weeks. So that's all about the battery life. I hope you have gotten enough information so that you can judge for yourself whether 16.1 beta 3 is worth updating or not if you have already updated to iOS 16 beta profiles. Now let's talk about the performance. So talking about the performance, performance is actually good on this iPhone 12. There is no lag and you know few weeks back when iOS 16 was not officially released we were having some app crash and everything was like for WhatsApp there was a bug. So those all have been removed now. So I've been using iPhone 12 as my primary device but I did not face any you know, as such major issues in terms of app crashing or in terms of lag or something. Now talking about the iPhone 10R over here, iPhone 10R is an older iPhone. Some lag here and there is actually expected but you wouldn't notice uh, you know always the lag while you're scrolling or you know opening any application and closing it so you wouldn't notice that but yeah people who are talking about iPhone 10R has gone bad it has been a trash iPhone things like that I would suggest that you keep in mind about the fact that iPhone 10R has been an older iPhone and it has been serving us for more than four years so definitely the performance would not be up to the mark but just for your reference as well I have ran the Geekbench 5 scores so here are the scores in front of you the single core score on my iPhone 10 is triple one one and the multi core score is triple two five I know the scores are not up to the mark and also for your reference on iPhone 12 the single core score is 1584 and the multi core score is 3984. So if you're having uh, newer devices like iPhone 12 or iPhone 13, the iOS 16 beta profiles is fantastic. I mean, there are bugs here and there. And if you are you know, facing any bugs, then definitely if you have installed the beta profile, I would advise you, you go to the feedback application and put your feedback so that Apple can fix it with the next beta update. So with the help of this video, I just wanted to let you know how how is the performance of iPhone 10R and iPhone 12 with iOS 16.1 beta 3 both the battery life and performance I have given my impressions with the help of both of these iPhones I hope that you have enjoyed this video and let me know in the comment section which iPhones you are having or have you upgraded to iOS 16 beta profile yet or you are running on stable series of updates let me know that in the comment section below and I will see you on my next video bye bye